So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do test-driven development or TDD or red-green refactor, where you get a set of requirements and you read through them. Think about it, right? You don't have to just start writing tests or code. You can think about it and say, well, you know, at some point I really want to do the refactor step more and think about how am I going to do this uniqueness? Can I use a set? Can I go back and change this? Um, this public API was part of the refactor step to fix it and think about a better way to expose it. Maybe there's better ways to organize these types and maybe max, infinity. Maybe we want to do keep that bounded somehow. Who knows? When we write that test first, we think about consuming our API. We're the ones that have to consume it. And we think about what we're willing to expose and support. So now that these four methods are exposed with this particular type, this is our public API and we have to support this. Good news is that every time we write a test, we now have a test in place to check that public API. And you saw that happen when we changed the underpinnings of how ADD worked. It broke everything and the tests were there to, to catch our back. The compiler and the test are both there for us. Things like duplicates, right? Our types aren't really going to help with that unless you specifically find ways to type and removing blanks, right? Things like this. So using types, using tests together is a wonderful way when you combine it with test driven development to produce some really high quality code, have good test suites and just force yourself to consume your API and see if you like it. See if you dig the way it works. And then lastly, be aware that TDD makes some major assumptions that you know what the heck you're doing. If you don't have this, it's really, really, really hard really hard to do TDD because you don't know what you're trying to test, right? I'm right to test first. Testing what? I don't know. What are we building, right? <laughs> You've got to know this. That is how you do test driven development using a strictly typed functional language. And my name is Jesse Warden. If you got any other questions, feel free to hit me up on YouTube or on Twitter. I'm Jester Excel. Hope you learned something, had fun, had a better appreciation of TDD. Thanks for your time.